Hello, my name is Elena Olivas Loera and I am a planner with the City of Wheat Ridge Community Development Department. I am presenting case number WZ-22-05, which is a request for approval of a zone change from Commercial 1 to Mixed-Use Commercial Interstate at 10101 West I-70 Frontage Road North. I would like to enter into the public record the contents of the case file, the zoning ordinance, the comprehensive plan, and this digital presentation. The property is within the city of Wheat Ridge. All appropriate notification and posting requirements have been met, and therefore the Planning Commission has jurisdiction to hear this case. The subject property is outlined here in red in the middle of the screen. The property is located on the north side of I-70 on the I-70 frontage road. The area is primarily commercial in nature with retail uses to the east and some light industrial uses to the north and west. The property is a large site measuring just over five acres in size, and it contains a five-story motel building built in 1975. This is a zoning map of the area. The property is currently zoned C1 and is outlined in red in the middle of the map. More C1 properties exist to the east that include Hopper, Sports Grill, and a Napa Auto Parts. Immediately north of the site is a planned industrial development, including a plumbing supply company. To the west is more industrial and agricultural one zoning. Immediately to the west is a used car dealer. The unshaded area at the top of the image is the city of Arvada and the shopping center with the target. This is a view of the subject property looking north from the I-70 frontage road. It is a 91,571 square foot motel with parking. The applicant is under contract to purchase the property, and the purpose of the zone change is to enable reinvestment by allowing a wider range of uses, encouraging a better utilization of the land, and ensuring high quality urban design. Because the motel is aging, the applicant is contemplating redevelopment of the site, including potential multifamily and commercial uses. The current C1 zoning is reflective of long-standing commercial uses in the city. The C1 Zone District allows a wide range of commercial land uses, which include office, general business, and retail sales and service establishments. By contrast, MUC Interstate Zoning allows residential uses, commercial uses, or a mix of the two, and the permitted retail uses are greater in number. The MUC Interstate designation would allow more flexibility for revitalization of the site and will provide standards for a future redevelopment. The proposed MUC Interstate Zoning allows residential uses, commercial uses, or a mix of the two. The MUC Interstate District is complementary to the context of the corridor and the surrounding zoning and land uses and provides a wider range of allowed retail uses than the existing C1 zoning. This table summarizes the current and proposed zoning's development standards. Most of the proposed zoning development standards would apply if the property redeveloped in the future. Most notable differences between the two zone districts include building height, setback requirements, and lot coverage. The design standards in MUC Interstate are strict and include architectural standards, open space requirements, setbacks, and parking requirements. I would like to note that the maximum height in MUC Interstate is taller than C1 in part because the property is located in the area that voters exempted in 2008 from the charter's height and density limitations. That means a single-use building can be up to four stories or 62 feet, and a building that is vertically mixed-use can be up to six stories or 90 feet. For point of reference, the existing motel is five stories. As a requirement of the zone change process, a neighborhood meeting was held on March 30th, 2022 in a virtual Zoom meeting setting. One person attended the meeting and did not have any concerns. Because Wheat Ridge is not a full service city, we sent the application on referral to outside agencies, including fire, water, and sanitation, as well as completed an internal review. We did not receive concerns or objections from outside agencies. Before the hearing, the property was posted for 15 days and letters were sent to property owners within a 600 foot radius. Comments collected on Wheat Ridge Speaks will be reviewed by the Planning Commission. We use several criteria to evaluate zone change requests, which includes consistency with the comprehensive plan and other applicable plans. Staff believes that the proposed MUC interstate zoning is consistent with the policies and goals in the city's comp plan and the I-70 Kipling Urban Renewal Area Plan. The property is identified as mixed-use commercial within the structure plan, a designation used for existing commercial areas 
and which calls for long-term infill and reinvestment. The I-70 Kipling Urban Renewal Area Plan calls for many of the same policies and goals of the city's comp plan, including high-quality architecture and design, the incorporation of new and existing uses into a mixed-use format, and the stabilization of existing neighborhoods. The mixed-use commercial interstate zoning designation is appropriate for the subject property, allowing the existing land to become conforming and enabling the possibility of future redevelopment, which aligns with the city's adopted goals and policies. Ultimately, staff is recommending approval of the request for the following reasons. Based on the character and land use patterns of the area, the MUC Interstate Zone District in this area is more appropriate than C1 in terms of allowed uses for the property. For that reason, the zone change should not have an adverse effect on the surrounding area. Staff finds a zone change to MUC Interstate is supported by the city's comprehensive plan and the I-70 Kipling Urban Renewal Area Plan, specifically the vision for high quality architecture and design, the stabilization of existing neighborhoods and reinvestment in aging commercial properties. This zone change request supports the comprehensive plan by enabling investment in the property and by aligning the zoning with the city's mixed use goals for this corridor. Planning Commission will recommend a decision to City Council who will also review the zone change request. If City Council approves the request, then the zone change is approved. This concludes my presentation. Thank you.